My passion for e-bikes has not waned. My passion for sleep, though, is getting, starting to like overtake my passion for e-bikes. Hey guys, Johnny Nerd out here. I'm a new father, the first time father, so I'm sure I have a fatherly appeal to me now. But I'm very sleep deprived, so I apologize now for anything that is odd in this video, or if I seem like I'm on drugs, it's not that, I'm just very sleep deprived. Uh, all right, if you're new to this channel, I'm Johnny Nerd Out. I make custom e-bikes. I love it, this is what I love. This is the future. This is the best overall value, best performing bike. If you're looking at getting a bike, look at a bike first, and then think about how you wanna customize it. There's many different battery options, motor options. Make it fit you and your needs. That's gonna be the overall best price and performance that you could, you could do. Even if you have somebody like me build it for you, it's still gonna come out way better. So head to johnnynerdout.com. I got all the e-bike parts, components, help. If you need help doing it, book a consultation with me. I'm, I love talking to people. I love setting you on the right path to making sure you're confident and building your bike. If you have questions, if you have problems with your bike, book a consultation. I do virtual consultations. I could do FaceTime with you and I could go over your bike and fix it. It's awesome, what a crazy time we live in. Anyways, but the bike at hand is the Cannondale Adventure. I know, I'm starting to film in here because it's winter time here and I don't want to freeze my tuchus up out there. I apologize for the how cramped it is. This is the shop where I do all the conversions. Sorry about like, I got other bikes closing in on, but I'm gonna do my best to make this good. This is the Cannondale Adventure bike. Super comfortable bike. I was just riding it around now. It's, it's one of those bikes where you're like, man, now, I know that now that I'm a dad, I'm starting to feel, I'm working in my dad bod. I just want to be comfortable at all times. And this is one of those bikes where you're upright. I'm probably going to cut my head off doing this. Seat's got to come down a little bit. But, you know, I would even put these handlebars up a little bit more. And this thing would be super. But look at this step overhead. I could get in and out of this bike easy. I don't need to swing my leg over, rip my crotch apart. This bike is just super comfortable. Now this is an, obviously it's an older bike because check it out, it's got rim brakes on it. And a lot of people always ask me, my bike's got rim brakes, should I upgrade the disc brakes? I say as long as they work good, like this bike, this, this works good. Um, I was, I'm able to lock up the rear tire and I'm, I'm able to do emergency stops. Now obviously if you're thinking about doing something to hit 30 miles an hour all the time, if you've got long stretches where there's no congestion or traffic and you're able to just hit 30 miles an hour plus for long, you're out, you're out in the countryside, even then, I mean, you're not going to be braking hard. So rim brakes are fine as long as they work good. If you've got a crappy Walmart or Amazon bike and they're rim brakes, probably not. This is a Cannondale. If you have something like a Trek or a Specialized or a Cannondale, they probably put good brakes on it even if they're rim brakes. So that's why I'm usually like, eh, they're probably gonna be fine. Especially if you're not gonna be going super fast. Okay, now that I got my whole preamble out of the way, let's go over what we did to it. You got a BBS 02 motor down there. It's a 750 watt motor. We went with a 52 volt, 10 and a half amp hour slim style battery pack. This has got LG uh, 3500 cells in it. We put a rear rack on it that we mounted it to. I mean, we could have put it here as well but you know, you're gonna kind of ruin your step over height a little bit when you do that, unless you put it way up here, then you know, it could have been okay, but yeah, this way it's out of the way. And this is a really light pack. It maybe weighs seven pounds. So it's not gonna really add a whole lot of weight, you know, where you don't want it to be. Generally, you wanna keep your weight low and in the center. So it's not throwing off your center of gravity. If you start adding like those big giant packs and you got a rack that goes way out over here, yeah, it's gonna throw off your, your ride feel. So generally, rear rack batteries, I don't totally recommend, but this, it's fine, especially if you're not riding hard, you probably won't even really notice it that much. Display went with a 500C color display. This is a really nice, nice display. Shows you your watts in real time, your voltage and a digital readout. It does not have a USB output though, so that's the only thing. If you want that, go with like a 850C or something like that. But this is nice because it's got the buttons integrated into this display. It's nice and small and it's bright and colorful. So even in the super bright sun, you could still see everything you're doing. It's got the mechanical brake cutoffs here. So you replace your brake levers with these. And then when you hit the brakes, it cuts power to the motor. It's just nice safety, safety first here or there. This one's nice, it's got a little cup holder here. You have a little cup of coffee while you're going to work, sippy sippy. 
Um, we put a gear shift sensor in here. It just cuts power while you're shifting for about half a second. So when you're at like 60 to 80 RPM and you're ready to upshift, boom, just shift gears and it cuts power, lets it go, and then it puts power back on. So you're not gonna be breaking chains, grinding off your gears, all that stuff. Cause that's really grinds my gears. That's terrible. Um, also next to the, the display, we got a throttle here. So if you don't want to pedal, you could just throttle and go. Although I don't recommend that because then you're gonna get fat and lazy if you do that. And the whole point of getting on your bike is to stay active. The whole point of e-bikes like, let's stay young and active forever. There's no reason, even if you're 70, 80 years old, that you should be, you should feel old and decrepit. I talk to so many people who are in their 70s, 80s, late 80s, who are like, hey, I'm building a bike. And I'm like, I love you. I, that's the best. They're still staying young and active. Well into your late 80s, 90s. Don't become sedentary. Don't become a rock, because then your body will decrep. It will decrep. The crips. This helps you stay active. People say e-bikes make you fat and lazy. I want to take them by the shoulders and shake them because that's fake news, everybody. It's actually doing the opposite. It's keeping, it's keeping you active. You're able to ride farther, faster, longer. In my opinion, it's saving lives. If you do find somebody saying that, grab them by the shoulders, gently shake them and just say, stop it. You're actually hurting people. Okay. And you can just gently shake them. Bye. I'm not gonna do a giant nerd out performance test today because it's freaking cold and it's snowy. So where I usually do my performance test is all mushy. But this thing hauls. Just this thing will hill climb way better than any pre-made e-bike with a hub motor, like night and day. So if you live anywhere near any type of hill, get a mid-drive. Okay, this build was about 950 bucks um, without labor. So just to put that in perspective, if you already have this bike, you know, this bike's probably 20, 25 years old, but it works great and it's comfortable and it's better component wise than a bike you're gonna buy at Walmart or Amazon. So I would recommend, even if you could pick up one of these bikes, maybe use secondhand for maybe a hundred bucks, 150 bucks, 200 bucks. It's better to buy a good old used bike than a new crappy bike off of Walmart or Amazon, in my opinion. So for all in, you know, 900, 950 bucks, if you wanna do this yourself, you could have a bike that's gonna blow the pants off of a pre-made e-bike. It's awesome. It's the future, guys. And I know that, I, and if you wanted, but if, you, if this isn't into you, check out my other um, pre-made pre e-bike reviews. If you're into that stuff, it's totally up to you. Me personally, I like building them because it's a better value and it's more performance. Hopefully you found this helpful. Sorry there's no performance test for you guys. I know a lot of you guys just come for that and you're like, ah, I was duped by you, Johnny. Sorry. All right, later, guys.